In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a beautiful pricing table like this using Elementor. It even has cool hover effects and it takes just a couple minutes to put together. Let's get started. All right, so we basically have an empty page here with just a little intro text for our pricing table. And we're gonna build a pretty standard table. So most pricing tables usually have, you'll typically see three options in a pricing table. So we're just gonna use a three column layout. So we're gonna use a three column layout and I want it to be in this section. So we're gonna use an intersection. And we'll put it down here. And uh, we can just keep it as two columns for now, but we're gonna make it a three column layout. So let's start by building our first box and then we can just duplicate the styles to the remaining columns. All right, so at the top, let's add a heading with price. So make this 19 bucks and we want to uh, increase the font size. So that looks about right. Just make it a round number. And we'll add another title. Call it the light plan and typography. We're gonna use a lighter font weight and maybe make it slightly smaller. And we'll center this one as well. And then we're gonna add a divider. And we're gonna make it a partial width divider. Let's see how 30% looks. Okay, that looks pretty good for now. Then we're gonna add some features. So let's use an icon list. And I like this check mark, so let's style the check mark first, and then we can, oh, actually the style is set separately, so we can just duplicate this item. Okay, and then for the style, maybe we just wanna make the icon a little bit bigger. That looks pretty good. Okay, and then last up, let's add a button. Every good pricing box needs a button. And let's center the button. And the color actually looks okay. Okay, and then maybe we want the margin on the top to be a little bit bigger. So let's try 25 pixels, just to give us some spacing. Okay, so one more thing, I wanna add a background color. So let's click on the parent column here and we'll go to style and background and you'll click the classic type and let's go with a color. And let's make it a plain white background for this one. And then I also wanna add a border radius. So still in the column style here, we're gonna try, let's try 10 on each side. There we go. I couldn't see our border radius because of the uh, hover outline, but we have a nice little border radius. That looks pretty good. And just so you can sort of see uh, what the width will look like, let's add another column. So we have three columns. And I wanna get this centered in the middle of our pricing box here. Okay, and to center this list, we're actually gonna need a little bit of CSS. So first let's assign a CSS class and we'll call it centered list. And we'll click update. And I also want to assign a CSS class to our column here. So let's click on our column and then we're gonna to go to advanced. And under CSS classes, we'll just call it um, my pricing table and we'll click update. And then if we go to the front end and we refresh and we inspect our element, it actually gets hidden sometimes, uh, at least on the Firefox version of inspector if there's too many classes that fit in a line. So you can just double click right here and you can see center list the class is right there. And what we actually wanna target is not the list, it's, well, we wanna target both. So the first thing we wanna do is we need to turn this list into an inline block that's only as wide as its content. And then we need to center it. So in the pro version of Elementor, you can add CSS rules directly in the custom CSS section and have it only apply to this layout 
If you're using the free version of WordPress, you can use the additional CSS section of the WordPress customizer. So let's go up to the admin bar here. We'll click customize, then scroll down to additional CSS. And now you can enter your CSS rules here. Okay, so we added the CSS class already to our wrapper. So we have my pricing table class here, and then we have our uh, center lists class here. So we want this rule to target only my pricing table. And um, we don't have to add the center list selector, but we will just for more specificity. And we're targeting the unordered list elements. And we want to make it display inline block. And if we hover over it, the, uh, the unordered list now, you'll see that it's no longer full width. It's only this wide. And if we delete that rule, you can see it's back to full width. Put it back. And it's only that wide. So that's step one. And then step number two is we want to target this parent element here. So we'll call it my pricing table dot center list containing the Elementor widget container. And the rule we want to apply there is make it text align center. And voila, we've moved our list to the center and that looks pretty good. So let's add a little bit more padding to our, our column here and then we're ready to, uh, to duplicate our price table. So let's click publish here and we'll go back and let's go to the column settings and we'll go to advanced and unlink the paddings here and we're just gonna add a bunch of padding. So let's try 70 on the top and bottom and on the sides, let's try like 20 and 20. And everything else is centered. So the padding on the, on the sides doesn't really matter as much, but let's click update. And what would you refresh the front end? Okay, I think that looks, looks pretty good. So let's duplicate this. So right click on the columns and just click duplicate and duplicate again. And we can just delete these extra columns. All right, so let's update just the text of these. Okay, now you might notice that we don't have any spacing between our columns. So let's get ourselves in space. So if you click on an individual column here, and I should have done this before we duplicated it, but we can just do it quickly now. Uh, click on one column and go to advanced, and we're gonna unlink the margins here. And on the left and the right, we wanna make it 10 pixels. And then let's go to the next column and do the same thing. We'll do the same thing, unlink, 10, 10. And the last one, unlink 10 and 10. And if you want to make them a little further apart, you can adjust the spacing. And for some reason, oh, I must have changed the default width. So let's go back to 33. All right, so the basic layout of our columns is complete. Let's add some custom styling to the center, to the pro plan here. So we're gonna do a different background color. So we'll go to style, background classic, color, and maybe we'll do like a nice blue color. And then now of course we're gonna need to change the text colors. So let's go, let's just start from the top. Text color white. And you could change the button color if you wanted. Make it a little bit more noticeable on our layout. And we'll click update and we'll go back to the front end. All 
All right, so that's the basic styles of our pricing table, and that looks pretty good. But now let's add some hover effects, and we want to actually make this whole thing clickable. It's we, we don't want people to have to come down and click this exact button. We want them just to be able to hover over any any of the uh, these boxes in the pricing table and click them and go to our desired links. So let's do the hover effects first. And again, you could have done these hover effects on the first one and then duplicated them over, but we'll just do them really quickly now. So you click on one column and we're gonna to go to style, border. So box shadow is under the border properties and we're gonna to go to the hover box shadow. So we just want it to like be, look like it's lifted off the page when you hover. So we're gonna go hover, box shadow, and we'll make it like a big blur. And we don't want any horizontal or vertical change in the box shadow, so we want it to be all the way around. And that color looks fine. Maybe we can make it even a little bit further. Okay, so 25, and then we'll apply the same rule to this column. So hover, border, hover, box shadow, 25. Okay, so now we get a cool hover effect. And maybe we want one more little cool thing. So let's do, we'll go back to the front end and we're gonna add some custom CSS. And we have our uh, pricing table class, if you remember. Let's see if I can remember the exact class we were using. My pricing table. So we're gonna make a rule, my pricing table. And it's a hover rule again. And we want to make it so that these boxes enlarge uh, when you hover over them. So we'll go transform. Scale 1.04. So that makes it like 4% bigger. And we'll try that rule. Okay, and you can see it like instantly gets larger and that looks a little awkward. We sort of want like a little transition like where it lifts off the page. So let's add another rule. It's gonna be just for my pricing table, not the hover property. And we're gonna make a transition rule. So transition, we're gonna make it apply to all the elements and we'll make it for 0 0.1 seconds to start. And we want it to ease in and out. And this will just make it so that the transition takes a little longer. You can see that it's actually growing instead of instantly becoming larger. And you can change the delay if you want. You can make it like 0.15 seconds or 0.2 seconds if you think it looks better with a little slower effect. I think that looks pretty good. And uh, we didn't actually refresh this page, which is why the, the hover box shadow isn't coming in. So let's refresh the page. And there we go. We have our full hover effect with box shadow and everything. So I think that looks really good. And the very last thing I wanna do is uh, just make it so this is this entire thing is clickable. So you don't have to click the button here, but you can click any spot uh, on the column. And to do that, we're gonna use a free plugin. Um, there's a couple other ways you can do it. You can do it with uh, just pure CSS, but that's gonna add some time to this tutorial and I'm gonna make a separate video on that. So we're just gonna do the easy route. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna go to your WordPress dashboard. And we're gonna install a plugin. And the plugin you want, I already have it, but I'm gonna show you what it is. It's called Make Columns Clickable in Elementor. You can just search for it by name and it'll show up. And it's completely free. It works with the free version of Elementor. And you're gonna install and activate. And then if we go back to our layout here and we refresh it, And now if you go back to your column settings, you will find that there's this new thing here where it lets you put in a column link. So, and you get some options. You can add a no follow, open a new window. We'll click update. And we can just copy here 
update. Okay, and then if we refresh, let's see, let's close this. And we'll go back to preview. And you'll notice now that if you hover over any box in your pricing column, the entire thing is clickable and you can just click and it'll take you to your link. So that's pretty cool. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, can you please take a second to hit that like button? And of course, subscribe to get notified about the latest tutorials. If you've got any questions about this tutorial or suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments below. Now get out there and build that website.